What's going on everybody and welcome to the full game walkthrough series episode 11. Today we're going to be making our way to Crocotopia. I am extremely excited. Uh, let's get started. First we have to talk to Bartleby uh, to even go <laughs> into the spiral door. So let's talk to him and hopefully his uh, old one eye lets us through. These spiral keys are ancient magical relics that wizards use to travel between worlds. The spiral chamber lies inside me at my very heart. Go into the spiral chamber and I will tell you more. It opened up. The spiral is the magical thread that holds together our universe. There are countless worlds on the spiral. Wizard City is just the first. To reach another world, a wizard must use a spiral key. Each key is unique. It will only take you to one world. Mm hmm To use a spiral key, you need a spiral door like the one before you. Use the spiral door to travel to Crocotopia. Oh gosh. <clears throat> we made it, didn't we? Crocotopia, here we go. We made it. Tenu! It's been forever, my brother. Welcome, Effendi. You come to wondrous Crocotopia at a most dark time. I'm assuming Effendi means wizard. We have been cursed ever since the one you call Malastair arrived. Oh, the Tuts have come back to life to crush us under their oppressive feasts. Uh-oh. Please speak with a sergeant major in the Oasis if you would help rid us of this Malastare person. Sergeant Major Talbot in the Oasis. <laughs> this is the original cleanse, I have you know. Oh, we made it. It feels great to be in a new world, doesn't it? Finally made it to Crocotopia. Let's cleanse in the water real quick. Cleanse the feet. Come on now. Don't hog it. Oh, there we go. We're submerging. There we are. Perfect. All right, let's talk to the Talbot. What ho! Greetings. What? Master. Excuse you me. Must be one of those wizards from Wizard City. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Sergeant Major Sylvester Quimby Talbot the Third at your service. It's a loud bug. Order of the Fang. I think I heard Professor Winthrop mention that name. He and his crew are still excavating when they should be evacuating. Oh, exactly. You'll find Professor Winthrop inside the pyramid. Perhaps he has some information that can help you. And please, try to keep him safe. It's a loud beetle? My gosh! <gasps> the pyramid. We made it. Digging in the dirt, Winthrop. In the Altar of Kings. So yeah, so we're level 15. Uh... I still have that quest to go talk to... Well, I talked to Baelstrom to see if I can get rid of it. Nope. I have to... Uh, I'll do that quest eventually, which is just like a side quest to Kraken or whatever. I don't know. We'll have to just get rid of that eventually. But I am moving on to greater things, and I love Crocotopia. It's amazing. Come in, come in. Watch your step. Things are a mess down here. You say you are looking for the Order of the Fang? As a matter of fact... I was just researching them when the crocs came to life and attacked. Uh-oh. When the crocs attacked, my diggers and I had just found an ancient obelisk describing the Order of the Fang. We had to evacuate everyone. If only I could see rubbings of the inscription on the obelisk, I could learn more about the Order. Do you think you could make rubbings for me? You can find the ancient obelisk at the dig site in the Royal Hall. Okay, let's leave a mark here. And we'll go use the glyphs in the Royal Hall, which the Royal Hall is the uh, first place to quest. It's either that or the Chamber of Fire, either one of those. Um, and there are a bunch, a bunch of side quests in Crocotopia, I will have you know. Um, and I know this because of the Champions of the Spiral series I'm doing with Lewis. I mean, we're already done with Crocotopia. But at the time, it takes quite a while. It really does. Uh, if you would do every single quest in Croc, I don't recommend doing that. I, I recommend going through the main points of Croc. You'll enjoy it a lot more, and you'll be more motivated. Um, and then to go to Marleybone afterwards, and that'll be really exciting. Uh, where the heck is... Oh, there, it's over here. 
Yep, yep, yep. This is the uh, the dig site in the Royal Hall. All right. Is this it? Yep. You make the rubbings. All right. I make the rubbings. Let's go back to Winthrop. <clears throat> Excuse me. There you are. These rubbings are perfect. Let me decipher the text. Professor Winthrop studies the rubbings and grows frightened. My word. The Order of the Fang was a secret group of croc wizards who wrote a book of rituals called the Croconomicon, the most powerful source of knowledge about life and death magic. The Croconomicon cannot fall to Malastare. Huh. Perhaps this order has something to do with the crocs attacking us now. Did Malastare put them up to it? He has done similar work in Wizard City. We need to find out more. While I was running for my life from the croc attack, I saw Beatty Narini take an ancient tablet. He's the leader of the crocs in this area. Beatty Narini must have the answers we're looking for. To reach him, we'd need a key to his chamber. Our fighting men are trying to protect our archaeologist. Could you defeat Narini crocs until you find a croc carrying the chamber key and take it from them? Okay, so I am... Oh, that's a big mount. All right, I am going to collect the key from any Narini, and when I do, I'll see you guys then. Welcome back, everybody. Um, it actually takes quite a while to get one key. I did about seven battles uh, of two people each to get one key. Um, I don't know if that's the normal drop rate or the blue drop rate. You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever it is. We're moving on. Uh, let me try and not get pulled here. Awesome. Um, oh, I left a mark as well. Um, so, anyway... We need to go talk to Winthrop. We may even level soon. Well, let me look at my level. I also have to get some more uh, TC enchants. Kind of low. I've used a lot of them. Um, you go through them fast, let me tell you. All right, let's talk to Winthrop. You found the chamber key. Well done. Our men here have their hands full fighting the crocs. The archaeologists are no help, I'm afraid. Can you defeat Beatty Narini in his chamber? Claim the missing ancient tablet from him, and perhaps I can find out how this madness started. Okay, where is Narini? Is he inside here? Should be in here, huh? Let's look at the map. Oh, he is on the way opposite end, of course. Why wouldn't he be? What, right? Why wouldn't he be? Alright, so I am going to cut to when I get to him because 700 is quite a ways away. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so we made it. Uh, that's actually quite the journey. It was quite the journey. Um, a few things like I want to talk about like I always do with every ep, as you know. Uh, the uh, previous episode with Crab Alley and the Smiths, it was like an hour long. Um, a really long episode. You are not oh. worthy of standing before me, wizard. Fall to the floor. Maybe then I shall show mercy on you. And, um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, the Crab Alley and, uh, whatnot. So, that was an hour-long video. I was going to make that a shorter one, like I talked about previously, but, you know what? Kind of wanted to get done with Wizard City, huh? And then, uh, move on to better pastures in a way um what should we do here let's uh that let's do uh let's use well let's draw again oh we got strong as well okay let's just do that and then we'll use the volcanic shield um and my plan for croc i mean be posting a video every single day just like i've been uh we'll probably be done with croc by the end of this month, I think, or by the beginning of June. So that's really good timing. Um, giant. Okay, we got that for that. Uh, let's actually... Let's just let's just kill the uh, sentry. Um, and also, in Croc, knowing, like, right now, just uh, before when I was facing those Narini people, the fizzle rate, it seems like it's really high. And I don't know why. It's... It seems like it's really high. It's been really high for me for the past few days. And I really... I'm shaking my head, really. Um, and... It seems like... It's kind of funny that, you know, you start a new world and then 
right off on the bat. You start fizzling, but that's the struggle. This is not going to kill him. Oh, it did kill him. See, look at that. Well, now we're in good hands, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Let's blade up. And uh, since we're level 15, level 16, we'll go back to Ravenwood. Get the tower shield, which will be huge. It'll be really exciting. Um, let's wait for Cyclops. Let's just use the wand hit. A weakness? Is he going for one in the mill? My goodness, huh? These guys are good. I mean, it is a world above, but let's be honest with ourselves here. Uh, yeah, let's do Cyclops, and then we'll Blood Bat. There we are. Um, and the level 18 quest line from Cyrus, the get him good, thank you very much, is the Cyclops minion, who people are talking about rumors to use Humonga Frog. Is that true? Let me know. If so, I'm going to be using that thing. Uh, the 4-pip, of course, Cyclops minion. And that'll be really exciting to uh, use. Is he dead? It's amazing. Look at that skill. Level 20 gear? No way. Alright, obsidian chest. Oh, isn't that for... Oh yeah, that's from... That's for the quest for Dragonspire. That's where... I forgot that that's where one of the chests is. Huh. My memories are coming back to me. Can we get this health wisp? There we go. Alright, let's go talk to Winthrop. And I think we have still have a few more things to do in the uh, Royal Hall, but I'm not for sure. Ah, the ancient tablet. Now I can get the rest of the story on the Order of the Fang. Professor Winthrop studies the ancient tablet. The Order of the Fang oppose the evil Tuts. They plan to use the Croconomicon to put the Tuts to sleep. And we had to come round and wake them up. If only we had that book, we could set things right again. But where is it? I know where I it is. I think the Order of the Fang still exists. Ooh. Hiding somewhere in Crocotopia. I want to find them. They must know where the Croconomicon is kept. We've discovered a map room that might help locate them. Unfortunately, it's located through the palace we can't get inside. My assistant, Malcolm Danforth, has been working on a way to enter the palace. But with all these tuts about, I'm afraid for him. Please, help him. You'll find him in the excavation room in the Chamber of Fire. Okay, so we're already on the Chamber of Fire. I'm pretty sure we have to go back to the Royal Hall, but... I don't know. I guess we're moving on the Chamber of Fire. I know that we have to uh, defeat a lot of people in here. Yeah, the Danforth, that's where the, the excavation site, that's actually a really big area. Brings back a lot of memories as well. I think there's like the we have to like set free slaves or that might be in a different area. Yeah, the charmed slaves here. Yup. One ex one place I am really excited to get to in Crocotopia is oh look at that map that's amazing. Um, so we're in the Pyramid of the Sun and then we make our way over to the Crocus Sphinx and then we make our way over to the Tomb of Storms and that's basically Crocotopia. It's not too bad, actually. Uh, a lot of people seem to get discouraged in Crocotopia, but there's a few collect quests that are struggle and, and whatnot. But all in all, Crocotopia with Shallock the Wise, it's actually a really good world in my opinion. You're to help me find a way inside the palace? Did you Excellent. hear that? It's like a horn in game. What the heck was that? <gasps> as far as I can tell, the palace requires a keystone to unlock the door. My partner Robert Lancaster has been searching for the keystone. See if you can find him, while I see if I can't whip up some other way in. Okay, I'm not going crazy. That is a horn in game. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what the heck is that? It's actually really cool, though. Kind of ominous in a way, though. Make our way up here. Lancaster, help! My, my. There are crocs everywhere. I tried to venture out to find the keystone and ended up running for my life. Tell Malcolm Danforth I don't have the keystone. But I did discover that a piece of it is buried in the dig site okay. at the Royal Hall. Yep. Say, could you do us a favor, being a wizard and all? We've heard that once you defeat a no, flame thank servant, you, Lancaster. you are left with a small eternal flame. When our fires go out, this place is pitch black. 
Some of those eternal flames would come in handy. Thanks, Lancaster. So we do have to go back to the hall. We're about to level up, everyone. Level 16. It's awesome we're gonna get tower shield at this ep. Thanks for that. Good show, that Robert. He couldn't find the keystone, but he did give us a way to find it. We it's leveled up! Roll up your sleeves and Level 16! Like a true archaeologist. We need to find that keystone. Please go to the dig site in the Royal Hall and search for the missing piece. It's probably just below the surface of the sand, so you may have to dig around some. That's actually pretty funny. Let's leave a mark here. Let's make a journey to the pile of dirt. <laughs> I think it's actually faster if we go to the oasis and then... Let's go get Tower Shield right now. I really want to go get Tower Shield. Let's get this Mana Wisp here and here. There we go. Cleanse a little bit. Let's go get Tower Shield from Grey Rose the Fairy. And then we will go investigate the pile of dirt. That's actually really exciting. I didn't know we were going to get it that soon. Level 16. It's awesome. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Grey Rose. Amazing. Yes. Yay, now we have Tower Shield. No more training into ice. The next school I think we're going to train into is Life for Seder. And then eventually we'll get a Life Mastery and use that. And let's see how many training points we need to get to Seder. I think it's like five same. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. That's actually a lot. Seven. Okay. Well, that will be definitely an adventure. Um, let's go investigate that pile of dirt. Let's put in some tower shields, though, first. Remove that. And then... Um, I'll have those in. There we go. Then we got some tower shields. Because we need to be a little more conservative going into Croc. You really didn't need to do so in Wizard City. But I believe in Croc you need to step it up a little bit and have that little bit of conservative edge against bosses. Especially in this world. Um, when we get to the dungeon and the Crocus Sphinx and the Tomb of Storms. You definitely are going to need some conservative uh, shields. Highly recommend Volcanic Shield going into Ice first. Uh, making up my mind, I think we made the right choices for that. Um, you know, because minus 70 fire and storm, there's a lot of fire in this world. I mean, especially in the beginning area, where if you don't have, um, if you're not high enough level, I guess, and you don't have enough health and, and whatnot, it can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. Let's go get this pile of dirt and try and find this keystone. See, they're just trying to make it, like, sneaky over here like i don't want to get pulled and they go so close you know what i mean oh gosh don't pull me charm slave come on be my friend there we go i'll give him a cookie later get this wood chest how much gold 21 they're cheap in this world like my word 21 gold wow okay we gotta be careful so we're already level 16 two more levels to get the cyclops minion and then are we i'm trying to remember is ether shield this level we'll have to see at the later on we're not gonna worry about it right now we don't need it that bad but i know eventually we'll need it for marley bone and mushu especially and we'll probably get it before like 22 ish um where the heck is it at oh it's for, oh <laughs> it is a pile of dirt isn't it there we go all the way back to the chamber of fire so i think we won't worry about the the two shields that are given because there's not a lot of uh i believe it's like death and myth and i don't think that's really in this world or marleybone that much but i could be wrong wonderful you have found the keystone you are a true archaeologist my friend thanks i haven't been twiddling my thumbs either i learned they divided the keystone into two pieces in order to ensure the safety of the palace who knew hmm there's only one thing to do, and I'm afraid it's up to you. According to these inscriptions, the Nerini guys are really good at rhyming. has the final piece of the keystone. You will have to defeat him in combat and get it for us. Can you do that? 
Okay, so let's go defeat the Narini Quartermaster, and then we'll wrap up for this episode, the first episode of Croc, even though we're on Ep 11. Really exciting. Uh, and I know for a fact, I mean, maybe one or two more Eps, and we're already going to be into the Crocus Sphinx. So, Crocotopia may be actually a shorter world, because there's a lot of collecting and whatnot, and when it comes down to it, I'm pretty sure that, you know, I'm going to be skipping a lot of the mob battles, but there are really... There's some really cool boss battles in this world that I'm looking forward to. One of them being the uh, the one in the Crocus Sphinx. Oh, he's over at that end. Oh, gosh. That's that's a little bit much. And I believe it's like the actual Fang people, or I believe. And then eventually Crocopatra, which is a, a uh, kind of a runoff of Cleopatra from the Egyptian times. And it's like... This croc, uh, this like this croc with like lipstick on. It's it's a little weird. It, it is, but that's the way that rolls. And she's in the uh, Tomb of Storms in her own main dungeon, which is actually a really I cool see dungeon. My men could I take you down? I guess if you want something done right. All right, let's uh, just to make our lives easier. I will have to buy more TCs. I don't think we will be fine. Don't worry about it that much. Alright, let's go destroy the Narini Quartermaster, his servant, and then Alright, let's go to let's go to work here. Um It's Volcanic Shield. What the heck? And then hopefully we get a power pip. That'd be best case scenario. Also, another thing I wanted to mention, the Narini's in the very beginning, which I actually had a lot of trouble with. Um I don't think I made that clear enough, but I, I did. It, it, they were... The drop rate was terrible, but, um... You need to watch out, because they use the Fire Elf a heck ton. and Back to back, and that can damage you a lot. And if you don't have a pet that heals, that's a little bit of trouble. That is a little bit of trouble. Okay, let's, um... Use the Myth, myth Trap, and then we'll enchant the Blood Bat. And then hopefully kill the Flame Serpent next. And then we'll summon a minion. And then use Cyclops or Troll on the Narini guy. Alright, let's get rid of that. Draw. I'm, hey, you know what? What the heck? Well, let's just use that on that. Since we have that. Um, oh, we already have that. Alright, let's use Troll on the Flame Serpent. Kill him. Unless we fizzle. You know, that, that's always bound to happen sometimes. And Oh, weakness. There we are. At least I put that plus 35 on him. And I fizzled. There we go. Um. Alright. We got even a better troll now. Yeah, I highly recommend. I was like spending about a day or so. And I've talked about this numerous times of the best route to truly. Oh, at least I put that minus 70 on. That would have did a lot. Uh, Tower Shield, I think, is the best thing to go for first. Uh, most definitely, because you can get it if you save up all your training points and don't spend it on stuff that you don't really need right off the bat and follow kind of the uh, the guide that I have with like getting the, the minus 80 shield for your school specific, you know, from all that and then getting your spells from your own school and then getting at least 5 to 6 points or so and then going to tower shield, save up the rest and then just save um, up all the way, get satyr and then we'll eventually... Uh, get the other spells, and they'll make everybody's life a lot better. And Tower Shield is one of those essential things that you can't pass up. You really can't. And it, you just can't. So I'm happy we finally have it. It's going to come in handy. It's going to save our butts in the future. Not that much. Oh, he's mad. He's not having it. I wouldn't have it either. Oh, he's mad. Oh, yeah. Rip and Pep. I mean, that was... Amazing. Did we get anything? A rank 20 life rub. 144 health. That's crazy. Did I leave a mark? No, I didn't leave a mark. Well, we're on a journey then, right? Actually, it may be even faster. No, he's got to keep going down over here. I really like these symbols. I'm telling you, like, I really... They have all the schools here. It's amazing. I like those. They're kind of like ancient hieroglyphs of our schools, even though... I really like that. It's kind of like a notion to that. Those little things throughout the world that you see that connect together. It's really awesome. 
Assistant Danforth. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where the heck am I going, huh? I'm gonna go Assistant Danforth. I'm going the opposite way. Talk about hieroglyphs. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think it's in either this pyramid or the Krakow Sphinx where there's this amazing map of... I can't even remember, but the map was so detailed. And I was trying to figure out if it was a housing drop. And I think it's like... It may even be a dungeon, like at the end part of this pyramid area. It's like an excavation area, I think. I don't know, or maybe somewhere later. But it was a really cool thing, and I was trying to figure out if that was a housing drop. Well, of course not. You know, the, the really cool things in the world, they're never really housing drop. But that's what makes them unique to the world, I guess. But I really want it. I really want it. At last, the other piece. You're quite a tough worker. You sure you're not from Marleybone? Here, let me put the pieces together for you. Thanks. There. 600 XP. Now that we have the keystone, we must inform Professor Winthrop. Head back to the entryway and tell him we can unlock the palace now. It's been a pleasure working with you, even with all these crocs menacing us. Okay, let's go talk to per Professor Winthrop, and then we'll wrap some things up for the, the first ep. A lot accomplished today. There really was a lot accomplished. We got Tower Shield, another level... We explored the Chamber of Fire. We defeated the Quartermaster. Um, Quartermaster. And then we defeated another Narini guy. Or am I going the right way? That's over this way. I'm getting lost in here. It's like a labyrinth, even though it's not Dragonspire yet. The labyrinth is going to be one of those, I tell ya. That's going to be the testing point of our strength and... Basically, well roundedness as a wizard. That's gonna be, that's gonna be really intense. Dragon Spire, yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, Dragon Spire is gonna be one of those. It's gonna be, that's what it's gonna get you. You and Malcolm found the keystone. Splendid. We have the key to the palace now. Go inside and help Lieutenant Standish clear the way into the throne room. Okay, so next time in episode twelve, we will explore the Palace of Fire, which is the final area in the uh, pyramid, um, the first area of Krakatopia. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. It's always appreciated. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day.